Taliban leaders had a massive brawl after disagreeing over which of them did the most to boot the U.S. out of Afghanistan, report says. Here's a summary of the article. Top members of the Taliban had a massive brawl after falling out over who did the most to secure victory in Afghanistan, the BBC reported, citing senior officials of the militant group. The fight between two factions in the Taliban leadership took place inside the Afghan presidential palace in Kabul late last week and came after a debate over who had most to drive the U.S. military out of their country, the BBC reported. The Taliban took control of Kabul on August 15 and the U.S. military pulled out of the country for good on August 30. Taliban sources told the BBC that the argument broke out because Baradar was unhappy about the makeup of the interim government. The Taliban deny the fight took place, according to the BBC. Reports of the melee comes as rumors swirl around Baradar's condition, as he hasn't been seen in public for several days. Taliban sources told the BBC that Baradar left Kabul for the city of Kandahar following the fight. According to the BBC, a Taliban spokesman said that Baradar had traveled to Kandahar to meet Mullah Haibatullah Akhundzada, the Taliban's reclusive supreme leader. This post received a score of 8,200, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The Taliban was strong when it had an enemy to rally behind. Now there's no enemy, a country in pieces, a world to exist in and power to be distributed. Afghanistan in a nutshell. When the country is at peace, the tribes fight each other. A foreign invader comes, they work together until that invader is defeated. Then they go back to fighting each other. It's like Europe pre-WW2. I mean even after. How so? Bosnian war comes to mind in an instant, which the Balkans including Greece, have a lot of strife. Russia and Ukraine is a recent example as well. Areas around Georgia and Chechnya then all the shit during the peak of the Cold War. Images of a Three Stooges episode. I swear, over the past few months, I keep imagining a comedy movie about the Taliban's retaking of Afghanistan in the style of the movie Four Lions. I feel like it could be a biting take on religious extremism, authoritarianism, and internal power struggles. Someone get Armando Iannucci on this. Chris Morris wrote Four Lions Not AI. The Taliban's internal war is just beginning. This is why no one should believe a single word coming from the Taliban right now. They are not able to keep any commitments or promises or deals with anyone, until this struggle for dominance between different factions continues. The same thing happened after the Iranian Revolution. Any talk of inclusiveness disappeared instantly and last week's allies were being hunted down, imprisoned or executed. Many of the leaders of various factions died in the power struggles that happened immediately following the fall of the Shah's government. Same with the French and Russian revolutions. Incredibly hard to have unity when the only thing unifying you was a single clear goal. When you eventually reach that everyone wants to go in a specific way afterwards. The dog finally caught the car. Now what? Get pets from the driver. Maybe some treats. New home. He, she is a good boy, girl. I can't say I can see your vision of Taliban being a good girl, but well, to each to their own I guess. This is some straight up asterisk shit. Somehow, the bard was the first to get slapped, again. What does the bard play in? A Taliban. Cross your fingers. Massive egos might just kill off each other, if left to their own devices. Generally what happens is the most brutal one is left standing, or power is fractured between the most brutal ones. So you have factions that are busy fighting to consolidate their power, and mostly ignore the population they are supposed to serve, rule. And I suspect that democratic countries will hesitate to interfere for various reasons, so some sketchy allies will start making deals with one or more factions. Source. I don't know what I'm talking about. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.